Welcome back to the second week of the course. Constructive alignment is the triangle of effective learning which consists of three major components in the teaching and learning process. Before we unravel more on this, let us look at a scenario. In this scenario, an instructor is teaching to a high school physics class about current, voltage and circuits. The instructor provided definitions of current, voltage to students, explained them about series and parallel circuits, explained about Ohm's law and solved some problem questions. While the students studied the definitions that they were provided, they also studied about series and versus parallel circuits, memorized Ohm's law and practiced some similar questions as demonstrated by the instructor in the class. Now in the exam, two circuits were shown to the students and they were asked to determine in which one of them will the bulbs glow brighter. The results of this exam showed that most of the students were not able to solve this problem, which made the students unhappy as well as the instructor unhappy. Now when we look at this result, we are forced to ask as to what went wrong. Well, the students commented that the problem question was out of the syllabus and they had not done such a problem question in the class. Whereas the instructor commented that the question was easy for students since they knew Ohm's law, series and parallel circuits and all they had to do was to reason quantitatively. In fact, it was easier than other numerical problems. Now listening to these comments, let us do a reflection spot. Who do you think is right, the instructor or the student? Justify and write down your answer. Pause your video here and resume when you are done. Some of you may think that the students are right, others may think that the teacher was right. Well, the answer is that both of them are right at their respective places. Then what went wrong here? Something that went wrong here was a mismatch between instructor's expectations and students' expectations and their level of learning. The learning activities and the assessment task did not align well with the intended learning outcomes. Now the solution to this is that we need to match these two expectations by aligning the two. And to align the instructor's expectations with the student's level of learning, the instructor first needs to ask a few questions such as what are my goals as a teacher? What do I want students to take away from the content? Which will help the instructor in defining specific learning outcomes for the teaching learning process. This learning outcome is the first component of the triangle of effective learning. Also, the learning activities should be designed to enable the students to achieve these learning outcomes. Similarly, the assessment should be designed in alignment with the teaching learning activities to measure students' learning and achievement of the intended learning outcomes. And this golden triangle of learning outcomes, teaching and learning activities and assessment constitutes constructive alignment. It is a pedagogical approach which is based on constructivism and was defined in 1999 by John Biggs who stated that constructive alignment is about defining learning outcomes and aligning them with teaching and learning activities and assessment tasks. This principle of constructive alignment is the underpinning concept in the curriculum design and development to achieve the intended learning outcomes. We will talk more on how to implement this constructive alignment in e-learning in our next LED. Thank you.